What's up, IG? Figured I'd go live. Sorry, I'm in my kitchen right now. I ran out of daylight outside, but uh, did pretty good with my other review on the all my Atlas gear that I was wearing when I was climbing the tower and everything, but that's not my everyday setup. So I wanted to show you guys kind of how I do my everyday setup. I'm in my kitchen, I'm not at work, so it's kind of a all controlled and it is kind of staged, but this is how I run my gear. Let you guys know, quick little turn around. I actually run the, what's it called? Atlas 46 main tool attachment V2. That's what this is right here. Same on this side, I run the both. I also have, um, Atlas 46 eyeglass safety pouch. Carry all my tools. This is about what I carry every day. Um, got some Cobras right here, a little level right here, pencils, different colors. Got another one here. I kind of keep a little bit of pencils and markers on both sides. For one, I'm left-handed. Two, I just, if I'm stretching or reaching, I like to be able to have one here, be on a ladder, do something high up. Have it right here, do whatever, and they're just easy to get to. I also have, like I showed you in the other videos, magnetic panels. I have my 50 pound panels. Um, I carry my dikes, of course, strippers, needle nose, flathead, Phillips head, heavies, and I always carry a pair of snips. Just, we do do low voltage stuff as well, but not all the time. I like to use them. As a little knife, if I need to cut something, I can do that. Those all kind of stow away. These pouches have pencil pouches everywhere. I use these pencil pouches in the front. I carry a marker in each one. It has two slots, a shorter slot and a longer slot. The longer slot holds the marker, of course, and I keep various bits and everything in them. I got a flathead right here. Get that bad boy in there. Got another marker here. I normally carry a, a bigger flathead on this one, but broke that one doing some other crap. Right here, I have, I believe this is called a bucket bag utility pouch. I honestly use this, I call this my trash bag. I do a lot of service calls, residential stuff. If I have trash, a lot of wire I'm stripping, if we're doing data at the time, I'm taking all the baggies apart, all these little ends and you know, whatnot. All that goes in here, real easy to dump. I actually had a little bit of trash already. And it folds up real nice and easy. Just kind of smash it all in. And I mean, you know, you get the idea, you're good to go. I also carry tape measure pouches. I have the Nelson Freedom Clips. I honestly haven't been using this bucket bag because I've been on the tower the whole time. So I got a lot of these clips on because I'm just clipping a lot of stuff. Same, like you saw in the tower, I have these D-rings everywhere. It's uh, an add-on from Atlas. It's, I forget what it's called, but it's a D-ring little extender you can put on the bags. Everything from Atlas is modular. It's kind of why I went with them. I started with Tough Built when I first started. Uh, a random backstory. I started about, started in the trades about five years ago. Um, been a, an apprentice, you see, third year apprentice. But yeah, whenever I started, I've always been left-handed and I've never had a proper way of using my tools because everything's kind of designed for a righty. So I got into the modular system and I fell in love with Atlas after that. This is, this is kind of how you use the AIM system. It's, I think it's Atlas integrated modular system, but they have it set up right here. You have a Velcro flap, you have Velcro on the other side so it doesn't slide. It goes into any two inch belt and of course, Put that down, fold this bad boy like that, and you got everything. That's how this entire setup is pretty much fastened on. Everything on here is the Ames system. What I really like about these bags though, is if you ever need to dump something out, you can clean them really fast. If you have fasteners or something you need to pull out, they're easy to dump. You got your pockets here, like I showed again, I got my notebooks, I'll carry my cell phone, I'll carry a square if I need to. I have my tape measure pouch, I carry more bits, just the standard bits we'll always use, or I always use 5 16s, quarter inch, 3 eighths. 
These tape measure pouches have security flaps. With that being said, I actually use these for my wire nuts. I'll keep one set of wire nuts in here. I'll keep one right here in the back. I also have my bit extensions right here. It's real easy for me to just kind of grab and go, do what I gotta do, put my bit extension back. I also have my drill holster right here. See, real easy, nice and easy. You have a little support so your drill doesn't go anywhere. And you also have bit pouches on the holster, but I don't use that. That's a little too hard to grab from the back. This is a eyeglass safety pouch. I personally use this for my fluke meter. It fits my T6-1000 perfectly, or you could fit water bottles. I carry water, energy drinks, or you know, even if it's the end of the day, throw you one of those bad boys in. Actually, it is the end of the day. So that's kind of how I rock that. I got my tape lanyard right here. It's just kind of clipped on. These bags come with two little clips where you can actually shoulder it. I uh, had a failed attempt at making some paracord little handles, but yeah, that's how I just kind of pulled that bad boy. These are my D-rings. In my other video I showed you, these are Ames added on D-rings, but these are where I put my tethers for my drill holster and my tape measures and whatnot. So it's pretty much I think the full setup of my bag. Give me one second, I'll show you how I use the best. So, a lot of people have seen it in my other videos. When I go to wear suspenders, I'll rock the Saratoga hips. But I rigged it up a little differently. One thing to be said, I don't use these in areas where I can get snagged, pulled on anything because I like to let everything hang. For good reasons, if I have a sweater or something that I want to put over this in the winter, I can do that easily. I just kind of pull these bad boys out. I'm just going to show you a couple. And I pull them back in whenever I need to. And then, real quick, I added on. This is more stuff you can get from Atlas. These are just little, I think it's called a Conway clip or something. Don't, don't quote me on that, but these bad boys, I also have some quick clips. I'll hold a rag if I'm cleaning stuff, my gloves if I don't want to hold them. And just kind of snap them. Of course, you got Velcro everywhere. You can put those magnetic panels, do whatever you want to do. You have pockets in here. I usually, I'll put my blueprints in here. I'll mainly be using this on big jobs where we're building an entire building, running around back and forth. Carry blueprints right here or right here, bag of seeds, whatever and sit that bad boy. All right, this isn't the fastest, but it's way faster than any option I've seen, so bear with me. It looks kind of crazy, but it works. Clip it up, catch all the D-rings. All right, and then just let it hang. So that actually took longer than it should. It's really pretty fast, but even that with being that, it was still fast. So this is how I rock the vest. Full suspenders. I also forgot to mention, this is like amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. These are pour on shoulder straps. So that kind of takes care of the weight. Everything's distributed evenly. I like to rock it like this. You can actually take every single bag off and use anything you want as far as these two inch attachments. I call it my battle vest. I'm pretty much ready for everything with this. I still use the attachments if I wanted to. I'll show you right here. Take off this bad boy. Throw this down real quick. And just a quick example of what you can do. Really, the beauty of these modular systems, they only limits your imagination, so. Whatever you could think of, whatever works for you on jobs, Atlas has got it for you. So just like that, you got something to hold fasteners or whatever. If you don't want it, just take it off, put it down. One thing I did forget to mention that I also have attached to my security flap that is removable, by the way. If you don't want it on there, you can just take it off, but I love it. 
nobody wants the nuts running around everywhere so kind of keeps them all secure you know but it, on top of doing like regular electrical we do low voltage fire alarm special systems i originally got this bad boy right here to hold my gloves but it's a little bit too small for gloves i ended up putting my room. If I have resistors at the time, I'll keep it all clean in a baggie and I'll put resistors in here so they're separate from everything else. At the moment, I have a bunch of crimps. But the beauty of it, it stows away nice and you forget about it till you need it. But I think that's pretty much it. Oh, give me one second. I'll show you something else pretty cool. I don't want to hold you guys up too much and I apologize. I don't have like a nice man cave or garage to record this in, but this is kind of actually this is actually really badass this is something else that atlas provides it's their hydration pack you can't if you throw it in the back it fits in the in the vest and you have these straps right here that control it so let's say i got it all set up one thing i did add is i'm trying to get into sewing but this is my little attempts at sewing this little Velcro, I reversed it. So if I want to drink, do whatever, I could drink. Oh, the reason why I got it from Atlas is this hydration pack has a shutoff valve so you don't have dripping or anything. And it has a cap. So if I'm drinking, whatever, take a sip. I don't want it dangling. I added this Velcro so I can just do that. It attaches anywhere you have Velcro. But it makes it easy, you know, do to do. Oh, bam. But I think that's it. Uh, try to make it quick and to the point. There's a whole lot more features on this I probably forgot about. I mean, one of the most important ones right there. Let me check that out. Gotta do some honeydews around the house. Look at that. Mm. But I think that's it, honestly. Atlas 46 is great. Like people say, it is for professionals. It's pretty pricey. But if you're willing to spend the money on it, I guarantee you, you'll be satisfied. Oh, one other thing. To talk about customer service, I ripped this one day. And I even told them it was my fault. But because Atlas is so badass, sent them the vest, they sewed that on. And I'm just a few days away from adding Velcro to that so I could put little mini patches. But all in all, in a nutshell, they fix everything, lifetime guarantee, they stand by their words, and you would be extremely satisfied if you tried them out. So try them out, give them a shot, let me know what y'all think.